From exclusive Ice Wizard and Battle Ram events to a bouncing villager, here are 53 Clash of Clans facts you probably missed. Starting at number one, we have the giant upgrading buildings? Yeah, you heard that right. In 2017, Clash of Clans had an event where the builder left the village. For this time, random troops were seen taking the builder's place, upgrading buildings and structures. Number two. This is Clash of Clans first ever clan. Called the Order, it's still going strong to this day. The clan was even featured by Clash of Clans, being the clan master Jimmy is in while completing the builder's base tutorial. Number three, in a 2016 update, the giant randomly grew a finger. No idea why or how Supercell did this, but it's pretty funny regardless. Number four, did you know the max amount of trophies you can win is 59? Now, this only happens if you three-star an opponent who has more than 750 trophies than you. Now, this is extremely rare to get, so if you do manage to get this, you're a certified pro. Number five, when Clash of Clans was first released, if your village got raided and your army camp got destroyed, you would lose all of your troops. Brutal. Number six, elixir isn't just a made up word. It actually comes from the Arabic word Ali Skir, meaning miracle substance. Number seven, you can easily swap the position of two buildings by holding them over each other. Now that's pretty neat. Number eight, it's possible to make sleeping villagers bounce. If you place a wall on a sleeping villager, they'll start bouncing and then disappear into thin air. Wait, wait what? Number nine, spring traps used to kill pekkas. Yeah, thankfully that feature was removed. Number 10. In November 2020, there was a glitch allowing players to stack buildings. Now, this glitch was completely broken, allowing players to stack Inferno Towers and Teslas, creating a crazy powerful defense. No one knows exactly how this was done, but after a short maintenance break, this was never seen again. Number 11. This was the original Town Hall 10 concept, but it eventually got changed because, well, it's just a worse version of Town Hall 8. Number 12. The boat leading to the builder's base was actually teased before its launch. You can see its remains in war bases. Number 13. It's impossible to lose your first battle in the builder's base. Even if you score 0%, you'll still somehow win. Number 14. On the Star Lab and Clock Tower, there are secret Roman numerals to indicate the building's level. Number 15. When a player upgrades to Town Hall 10, a barrel will appear showing that you'll unlock super troops soon. Number 16, it is literally illegal to play Clash of Clans in Iran. The government there believes the game promotes violence, tribal strife, and addictive behavior. <laughs> addictive? <laughs> I'm not addicted. Number 17, balloons defy all physics and travel in the opposite way of the wind. But to be fair, they are literal skeletons. Also, we have whatever these things are. Okay, Supercell, you win, I'll give you this one. Number 18, if you're new to Clash of Clans, you better thank your lucky stars you never used wall breakers before their AI change, because they were really bad. Wall breakers were coded to attack the nearest wall, regardless of nearby buildings. So you'd end up seeing wall breakers do this. Yeah, they literally died for nothing. Number 19, in 2016, Clash of Clans got hacked, badly. The hacker managed to spawn over 13,000 giants in just one attack basically making all attacks an instant three-star. After multiple people came to a forum and complained about him, he was banned a few days later and never mentioned again by Supercell. Number 20, just like in Clash Royale, the zap spell retargets and resets an Inferno Tower. Number 21, for a limited time, there was a spell called the Santa spell. It worked like a lightning spell with reindeers dropping explosive gifts from above. It was really bad and no one used it, but hey, at least the animation was cool. Number 23, Spells used to cost gold instead of elixir, and take nearly four hours to brew, instead of the 10 minutes it does today. Number 24, the first person to reach 4,000 trophies was George Yao, and this man is a Clash of Clans legend. It was disclosed that he spent six months playing Clash of Clans on not one, not two, but five iPads. Yeah, I have no idea how his wife didn't leave him. Number 25, lightning spell can damage up to a maximum of five buildings at once. Number 26, when Clash of Clans was first launched, the highest town hall level was level eight. Imagine this being called a maxed base. Number 27, rage increases troops damage by 180% and heroes damage by 90%. Number 28, if you freeze an area which has a hidden Tesla, it'll prevent it from popping up while it's still able to be destroyed. Number 29, through an old glitch, a clan was actually able to have two leaders at once, two leaders while having all the features a normal leader would have. Number 30, this is what troops used to look like when Clash of Clans first launched. Yeah, look at those dragons. And don't even get me started on the giant. Number 31, wall breakers will always ignore the jump spell. Number 32, the tornado trap was inspired by Clash Royale's tornado spell. 
making it the only thing fully inspired by Clash Royale. Number 33. You used to have to manually reload traps with gold. <laughs> now that's what I call pay to win. Number 34. When you first start Clash of Clans, you save three wizards in your first demo battle. These are able to be used in later battles. Wizards are something you can't normally unlock at Town Hall 1, so it's a nice little feature. Number 35. Speaking of wizards, in 2016, Supercell released the Ice Wizard to Clash of Clans as a limited time troop. Similar to most event exclusive troops, he wasn't very good in battle. However, it's still an Ice Wizard, so a win is a win. Number 36. Another limited time troop was the Battle Ram, released in the 2017 Builder event. Unlike other event troops, Battle Ram was actually pretty good. However, it got removed just a week later. <laughs> Classic Supercell. Only joking, we love you Supercell, please give us a creator code. Number 37. If you drag an idle Builder Hut, you can see the Builder chilling below it. Number 38. On February 7, 2014, Clash of Clans had their revenue leaked by a hacker. And in just one day, Supercell made over $5.15 million. What? Okay, now that is actually ridiculous. Number 39. Resources from Clash Royale's flying machine can be seen in the dock area of the builder's base, revealing that the master builder is actually the one flying it. Number 40. At lower town hall levels, a completely broken strategy is to get max level hog riders from clanmates. Once spawned in, they can pretty much three-star a base on their own. This is extremely useful for competitive war battles. Number 41. You used to be able to sell traps, which might not sound too bad at first, until you realize that with a simple exploit, you were then able to sell your own castle and even your town hall. This leaves you with players like this, who don't even have a clan castle. Not one of Supercell's proudest moments, I'd say. Number 42. The wizard lives inside the wizard tower, revealed in this trailer. Number 43. The roaster is the fastest attacking building in the game, attacking over 8 times per second. Number 44. The beta minion and bomber have the exact same hit points and damage at every single level. Are these two troops linked? Probably not, but it is a pretty cool easter egg. Number 45. The builder hall has the same tools on top as the master and regular builder huts. Number 46. The barbarian is the only troop to appear in every single loading screen for over 10 years straight. Get a new one already! Number 48. The Super Troop Sauna is a reference to how some saunas look in Finland, where Supercell HQ is located. Number 49. Minions are so fast, they're sometimes able to outrun air bombs. This makes for some crazy moments, though they usually die soon after. Number 50. The Electro Owl pet was teased in a video long before its release. Most people at the time assumed it was a spell, but <laughs> how wrong they were. Number 51. It's rumored that wall breakers are dead builders from lost or abandoned accounts, as they do wear similar hats. Number 52. Clash of Clans can ban you for having an inappropriate base design. And no, I would not recommend you try this. Number 53. People who don't subscribe to Halo are five times more likely to end in a tragic divorce where the wife takes the kids. So remember to subscribe, guys.